most of these books I'm getting rid of because I absolutely hated them. So I guess I will explain why I hated them, and that will be the gist of it. But so what shall I? So shall I? So shall I? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a unhaul video for you all. I don't have that many books to unhaul this time. I think I have like 11 or so. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book is So Shelly by Ty Roth, and I really, really wanted to like this book. Because I love the cover. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know, if there's a girl walking away on the cover, I'm like drawn to the book. I don't know why, I just am. So I was like, yes, this book is going to be so good, but it was so not good. It was really good at the beginning, and then it just went downhill. It was just like a, a full-on roller coaster downhill, and I just could not with it. I think I gave it a 2.5 out of five stars. The next two books are part of the same series. I already unhauled the first book in the series because I didn't like it. And it is Kisses and Lies and Kisses in the Dark by Lauren Henderson. And this is the second and third book in the Scarlet Wakerfield series. Honestly, probably going to end up getting rid of the fourth book too once I read that one. They're just not good books. I have a lot of problems with them and just topics that were brought up and things that were said during the books. I'll leave my Goodreads link down below for my review of them because I kind of go into detail then. But I really did not like these books. The first one I think I gave like a one star and then this one a two and then this one a 2.5 so I mean like they're progressively getting better but like still not good. The next book is Folly by Marth Jocelyn and this book the concept was really interesting and I thought it was gonna be really good and then it was just so boring. Like such a struggle to get through but I suck at DNFing books, and even if I'm like hating the book, like with a passion, I don't know why, but I can't put it down because I just find it that it's unfair that I didn't give the book a chance. Even though like I would read more than half of it, I still can't do it. But this book was set in Victorian London, so I was really excited because like I thought it would be interesting. No, it was really boring, and I hated it. So off to the thrift store. The next book that I'm getting rid of is The Interrogation of Gabriel James and this is by Charlie Price. It was a super short book which is why I initially picked it up but it was so boring. Nothing happened, no plot developed. It was basically like a murder mystery kind of thing and it was this guy named Gabriel James being interrogated about what happened the night of the murder. And I just, I thought it would be good because, you know, I'm into murdery things, and it just, it was not. It was boring, and I hated it. The next book is Possessed by Kate Kahn. I originally bought this book because of the cover. I just thought it was really pretty, and um, I hated it. It was really boring. It's basically a possession story, and it was just boring, and I wanted it to be cool, and it wasn't cool, so I was really disappointed with it. I think I gave this a 2.5 out of 5 stars as well. It was just boring and annoying, so... Off to the thrift store it goes. The next book is A Plague Year by Edward Bloor, and originally I thought that this was going to be like a zombie-ish kind of book because the back of the book says I see the walking death. And then once I started reading it, it kind of made sense based off of the cover. It's basically just the plague of a methamphetamine, and it's a story about this guy who runs a methamphetamine awareness group at his school and it's basically just them talking about methamphetamine and how bad it is. And it's basically just this book that's preaching to you not to do meth. So children, don't do meth. I mean, you could read the book and learn not to do meth or you could just not do meth. So, it's going to the thrift store. But I still really like the cover. It's still really cool. But like, if I had thought logically, I would have known it's not a zombie book. But Jay never thinks logically. And the final book that I am giving back to the thrift store is Break Your Heart and this is by Rhonda Helms. This was an arc that I received like a long time ago and I finally got to it. It was an okay book. I think I gave it a three, but it's nothing memorable. It's about a student-teacher relationship. Which, you know, like, don't sleep with your teacher's children, basically, is the moral of this story. I just, I have no interest in having it on my shelf because, like, I'm never gonna reread it, so why? Alright guys, so that was my little unhaul. You guys probably have never heard of any of those books, so, I mean, if you want to read them, then go to Chapters or Barnes & Noble, I guess, if you're from the States, and uh, find them, and then you can read them and let me know if you hated them, too. Or you could just not read them and take my advice. So, uh, whichever you prefer. I, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!